Welcome to Life Skills with Twinkle Home Ed. Today, we're joining Ewan as he opens a new bank account. Young people can open their own bank account when they turn 16. If you're younger, you'll need a trusted adult to do this for you. But you're never too young to learn about banking and finance. To open a UK bank account, you'll need two documents to prove your identity and your address. Ewan is using his passport and birth certificate. You'll need to fill in a form to provide the bank with your personal information, your name, date of birth, address and contact details. Remember to take your time when filling in this form to make sure you've completed each section correctly. The final part of the form asks for the name of the bank and the branch. If you're not sure about this information, just ask. Ewan is opening a current account, which means a bank account you can use day to day. If you just want to use a bank account to save money, then a savings account would be the one for you. You'll be given some important bits of information. Your account number is made up of eight digits and no letters. It's totally unique to you. No other bank account will share this number. Your sort code is a six digit number with a dash between every two numbers. This acts as an identity number for the bank branch where you opened the account. And your PIN number. This stands for Personal Identification Number. This is a four digit code and acts as a password for your bank account. You'll need this number to withdraw money from a cash point machine and it's important not to tell anyone else your PIN number. Are you ready for a challenge? True or false? A sort code is a six digit number with a dash between every two numbers. It's true. Your bank account number always has a letter at the start. That one's false. It's made up of eight numbers. Your PIN number should not be shared with anyone. That's true. Don't share your PIN number with anyone. Let's head back and see how Ewan's getting on. He's set up his bank account and has a new bank card. Let's practice withdrawing some money. First, insert your card. Type in your PIN number and then select what you want to do. Ewan wants to take out some money, so he presses cash only. You'll then have an option of different amounts and Ewan selects 10 pounds. Remove your card and then wait for your money. Here it comes, 10 pounds. Let's have another challenge. Ewan wants to check how much money is in his bank account. Which button could he press to do this? He presses display balance. The balance means the amount of money in your account. Ewan has enough money in his account to buy the things he needs at the shop. He pays by tapping his debit card and heads home. You can find all sorts of life skill activities just like this in our Life Skills Challenge Handbook. The link is in the description below. Download yours today and make life skills part of your home ed journey.